Hey fellow backyard boys, Nick here. Now, today I just wanted to talk to you guys about arrow fletching. I've been getting a lot of questions on, you know, what kind of arrows am I shooting in my videos. You know, I've, I've gotten a lot of people asking, you know, oh, what arrows are those? You know, are those the, you know, dowel arrows with duct tape? Or just, are they different? You know, are they carbon? Are they aluminum? So I figured I'd do this little video. So first off, I don't normally shoot duct tape fletched arrows. And I did that video mainly to show you guys what could be done really inexpensively and really quickly. And I, I just figured that all of that put together really fit the bill. But today I'm going to show you the arrows that I normally shoot. So first up, from the last video, you notice these. These are uh, gold tip XT Hunters. These are carbon. I've had some comments of people saying that, you know, they know, know where to get carbon arrows that are, you know, fleshed with feathers. They all have plastic veins. So these are actually all fletched by hand. I, I fletched all of these. What I do is I either buy just the bare shafts or I buy completed arrows, scrape off the the plastic veins and I put feathers on them. Uh, for example, these were actually not fletched by me. These were fletched by, uh, there's a local shop here, the Island Archer. And uh, they get the bare shafts and they fletch it in shop. So some of my arrows I get from them. But most of them I do myself. Like uh, here are some wooden arrows. These are uh, Port Orford Ce Cedar. Yeah, hard to say that. They're fletched by hand. And this is actually a set that I'm finishing up today. I haven't put points on them yet. But I'm going to show you guys how to make a really simple kind of like a feather clamp and a way to figure out where to put the feathers so you can fletch by hand with a little bit of assistance as opposed to just putting the arrow the feathers on by hand. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to need to get a piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe and this is schedule 40. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be flattening this and then grinding off one edge to become this. And it's just a simple feather clamp. And the way it's going to work is you take your feather and this will work on uh, full length feathers as well. Take your feather, place it down one side, slide it down through, and there. Feather clamp holds it in place. This is also really good for making your own, for cutting your own feathers. Um, when I'm cutting feathers, what I'll do is I'll put it in the clamp like this, and then I'll actually take a spring clamp to hold it closed, and then I can do any grinding, if I'm going to grind it on a grinder, or if I'm going to scrape it by hand. It just holds the feather in place, so you can really work on it. So, let's do that. All right, so what you want to do is you just need a couple of boards or a flat surface and a board. And what we're going to do is we're going to heat this up until it's soft, and then we're just going to smoosh it. So let's do that. But while I'm at it, you notice how when I pressed it, it pressed all the way down with my fingers? That's the same way your pipe should be if you're flattening the bow. If there are any spots that won't yield to, sim to a, a single finger pressure, then it's not hot enough to flatten. Okay. Take a top board, a bottom board, and smoosh it. And then just apply some weight or some pressure. You could clamp it, you could stand on it, you just press on it, and then we just gotta wait for it to cool. Alright, so now that it's flattened, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to square off both edges so that's nice and smooth and square. Just a note, I'm using a miter saw, you can use a hand saw. Uh, just be careful if you're using any kind of saw, especially if you're using a power tool like this. Uh, be sure to clamp this to your work surface. I'm just going to hold it by hand. But, you know, just be safe. You know, you know what's best for yourself. So now that I've got both sides squared off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure over on this edge however long my fletchings are going to be. So this is going to be for 5 inch feathers, which is what I'm going to be using. Or you could keep this full length and just use it for any length feather you want. It doesn't matter. I just like cutting shoulders and uh, you'll see later why I do that. Okay, so you can see I went and I... Uh, measured in. So this right here, you can see, is, you can see, it's five inches long. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting this edge just to get down to that gap there. And then I'm going to sand it flat and send it level. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so I've ground and sanded this. Sanded this. You can see there's a very fine line. This line is actually open, so this edge is actually opened up now. But there's considerable pressure from back here keeping it closed like a spring. So what we're going to do is heat the back edge up here a little bit just so that this will open up enough for us to put a feather in. The way you want to do that is you want to put this back on its flat surface and you want to take your heat source. If you're using something other than a heat gun you have to hold this over and be careful. Use tongs or pliers. So once that's heated up, you can see this is completely opened up. So now what you want to do is you want to hold it shut just enough so that there's some space. 